Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Thomas with TMWYT. Back again in the home garage. We got the Mark VI Golf R looking so pretty behind me. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I made my custom side skirt extensions out of a material called Compound. It's a really cheap material, really affordable and super easy to work with. I picked up my sheet for only 100 bucks. I think it was like 106 with you know tax and everything, but 100 bucks. Side skirts, you even have enough to make a chassis mounted front splitter if you wanted to, and even a rear diffuser. So out of the entire sheet, you can make a whole aero package for your car. You could even you know fit them up and make them into canards. But today I'm gonna be showing you how I made my custom side skirt extensions for my specific you know wider Mark VI Golf R. But what's fun about doing custom work is you can kind of do it to your own spec. So if you see my design here, I kind of have it jut out up in the front to match the front wheel. Um, and then comes in along the door line here and then just comes out again to match the rear wheel. But if you don't have a very aggressive wheel spec uh, GTI Golf R or any car for that matter, you can kind of just custom make your own design. You could also do little winglets with brackets and everything. So tons of custom possibilities. I'm just gonna show you how I made mine. Super simple, only a hundred bucks. So we're just gonna go blast in the past real quick to about two o'clock in the morning, the night before Gearhead Society about a week ago. So that's how you'll, you'll kind of notice that I'm not my normal self. I've been working for about three days on the car trying to get ready for the show. I did get footage of the install on the car and then I'll kind of explain after in a little bit more in detail on how I did it. Getting ready to cut the side skirts out so we have this material called Compound, which I picked up from a local supplier here in Salt Lake. It's got two aluminum sheets, very, very thin, sandwiched in between is a plastic sheet. So very strong, super cool material, easy to cut. So we're making custom side skirts. As you can see, Jordan already cut out his front lip. Right now we're just mocking up designs for my side skirt. So if you can see this purple line we have just traced on here. So we wanted it to match the front lip and then match how far the rear wheel came out. So we have this design traced up, 12 inches right there with a one inch draw, and then it goes all the way down to the back, and then we have 16 inch, um, and then a four inch angle right here, and then these flaps right here, we're gonna try to bend. So we're gonna try to bend this part of the panel up so they're like little gurney flaps. Gurney flaps? What? Winglets. Winglets, ooh, winglets, yeah. So, and if, if that doesn't end up working, we can just trim that off. But this is a pretty simple side skirt design we have. Um, it'll just make my car look less like it has a chin strap. Super simple. Super simple. Super simple. So we're gonna cut this one out. out to the pops for operating my power tools because the angle grinders without a guard are kind of sus. <laughs> He's old, so he doesn't care if he loses his hand. <laughs> Jeez. Did a great job, Rob. Great job, Rob. That was impressive. Rob, great job. He's like, wow. Dude, he's, he's just gonna, he's just gonna mount it up. Bending this piece here in a gurney flap. We set the piece on a piece of wood and you can kind of see what we're doing here. Piece of wood on the bottom, piece of wood up here, piece of wood right there, getting a nice bend. Oh! It snapped? Yeah. No, you're good. No, it's, it broke. Hey guys, we sanded down the edge with a palm sander to get rid of all the rough edges and burrs and everything. and. And then we painted it with the protective coating still on it. And now, after peeling it, we have these nice glossy surfaces. It looks super professional, really awesome. Looks like I bought it this way, but I really just made it myself. So we're gonna get it mounted up with some self-tappers and see how that holds. I'll let you know you guys know if it flies off in the wind. Um, Irv approved. All right, let's mount it up. 
Now do not go too far. Good. <laughs> do not go too far, I just sent it. <laughs> Don't go too far. Just tight enough, yeah. Shouts out to the real hero of the channel, this is Moose, my new shop dog. <laughs> it's Moose approved. Moose approved. Your battery's about to die. Yo, this jack ain't even on, bro. What the heck? <laughs> oh, no. I was three wheel for day, man. I was in the back of the car. Big yikes! Back? Big yikes! Yeah, I'm wondering when OSHA's gonna come like a rescue. You're that stupid. <laughs> Chassis mount or what? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. 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 Okay, I, I kind of like how like you can barely see it. Duh! Told you. I hate these guys. Is it that was not very nice. Uh, <laughs> TMW Industries. Just gotta hold it with your knee. TMW Industries. Just leave my desk, you little air flowing. All right, guys. Now that we've got them installed, it's been about two weeks since we got these installed. After or right right before the show. That's why I look so tired, so dead. Um, but they've held up great. I did install them with the self tappers all the way down and not actually bolted in hardware, but I've had literally zero issues with the side skirts whatsoever. Give a little tap there, love tap, it just kind of flexes. Uh, but I will keep you guys updated if the uh, self tappers do not hold. If you wanna do a mechanical fixtures so with bolts on the back, you're more than welcome to. Just requires a little bit more R&D, pull the side skirt off, kind of see where you can uh, mount those up to. You could even do rib nuts like I did on the front splitter. I think that'd be a great idea as well, but I think the self tappers um, worked awesome. So just got the really big self tappers and I have about, honestly, 12, 15, maybe even 16 down each side skirt. But I love how they turned out. Super easy to do, uh, tons of custom possibilities with it. I think it turned out awesome for the car. So like I said, this is probably version one. As the car changes, I can change my designs, see what works, see what doesn't, add little winglets here and there. So very cool. So essentially, all you have to do is measure the length. If you're doing the side skirts, measure the length of your car, obviously. So my car already has side skirts down here, separate pieces from the body of the car. And then you see the extension mounts it up right here. Super flush, looks really, really good. Uh, so we measured this length from end to end. After measuring the length of the side skirts, I just wanted the side skirt to be in line with the rear and the front wheel. So we measured out how far the rear wheel came out from where the side skirt would mount up back here. And so that's where we got this measurement in the back. Um, and then I wanted it to come out three quarters um, on the rear door, this little extension piece, and then angle down, continue down here at the same length and then just do a little one inch angle right here to meet up with the front wheels and so this is version one and i think it works really really well we ended up sanding the edges down after cutting so they were smooth and you can run your finger all along them without cutting yourself um, and the paint you can see just a little bit here um, it didn't hold on very well so i'm trying to think of a new solution for the paint um, if this doesn't bug you, like it's not a huge deal to me, you really can barely even notice unless you get very close. So I think if maybe um, I didn't, it's, I might not have sanded as smooth, it might have stayed on there, but it's just kind of rubbed off on these edges just a little bit, but that's not a huge deal. So overall side skirts, I think look great and definitely make my car look less like it has a goatee um, and kind of fits the rest of the build more. I am trying to think about, um, you know, I might do a revision here in the future, or I might also wrap them the peach. 
on the top of the side skirt so that it matches the front lip like I have there. See how it's the peach up top and then the black lip down here. So I might do that over here, um, but you know, I think it looks great how it is. It just adds just a little bit of extension to the side skirt, which is exactly what I wanted. It looks really, really good. So let me just show you guys a little cinematic of how the side skirts look with the rest of the pieces that we added to the car. I think they turned out super good. And for a hundred bucks, making a chassis mounted front splitter if you wanted to, the side skirts that I show you guys today um, and any other aero parts really, if you wanted to make a custom rear diffuser, you could do that as well. So a hundred bucks, not bad at all. So if you're done paying ridiculous prices for front lips and uh, side skirts extensions only to have them crack because you're riding too low or something like that, they just get damaged. Just get something, this is super sturdy. It's literally two sheets of aluminum with polycarbonate on the inside of it. So very, very sturdy and affordable. And you can just kind of do your exact own design. Nobody else will have these pieces um, and you can do your own unique look for your car. So super cool. Definitely enjoyed making these. I think I would have enjoyed making them a little bit more if it wasn't like two o'clock in the morning before the show, the morning of the show the next day. But that's quite all right. They, I think they turned out sweet. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And that is gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.